like my main 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 thing is be gentle enjoy yourself be easy going and easy on yourself don't be judgmental of yourself and don't be judgmental of other people enjoy the journey guys enjoy the journey enjoy the journey mark any little step you know as as you get accustomed to it and in a habit and you keep allowing yourself to eat what you want to eat and drink the old stuff you wanted to drink you become glad and at peace and happy that you're allowing yourself to do this this is an act of self-love actually this is like this is like when a baby is crying you don't say you shouldn't be crying because there's people around and you're disturbing them that's like saying you shouldn't be you know you shouldn't be doing that eating that meat or having that habit how, how can you just suddenly say to somebody you shouldn't be doing that I expect you to suddenly change your entire life now and expect you to be able to and if you don't do what I'm telling you to do I'm going to judge you like that's like trying to tell someone to become a saint hey if you don't become a saint I'm going to judge you you're inferior and bad and I'm above you and like as if you're a saint like by acting that way which a lot of the raw food or vegan people are like especially the vegan people but not only this is related to diet this can be related to anybody like you know you're religiously self-righteous the bible says this the bible isn't the only book guys there's loads of religious books and there's loads of religious masters christ consciousness is an energy and a vibration it's not jesus being the savior of the planet by any means i love jesus i resonate with his heart massively and his energy i've been like i've been called jesus all the time and i've been told i've, I've christ consciousness like jesus by a few different people who are energy sensitive psychic people because I embody the purity in the heart my my um, my biggest heart chakra is my heart my favourite chakra I've been saying for a long time is my heart it's the heart, the heart of gold and in Jesus is teaching you see the glowing heart and this isn't me boasting, this isn't me telling you what, what I, what's most important to me in life, my heart love, compassion, tenderness, forgiveness, softness love, unconditional love all these like lovely moving things divine feminine qualities was what moved me the most you need to have like divine feminine qualities for yourself to be gentle on yourself and, and, and we can practice giving it to yourself you can give it to others but if you can actually start practicing even giving it to others you will get, get better giving it to yourself if, if you can focus on that also and become aware that you, you're entitled and deserve and are worthy of love just like everybody <laughs> so it's my intention in this video to help heal eating disorders to promote self love gentleness warmth, compassion softness, flexibility um, easy goingness and, and be able to make long term changes instead of just forcing for a week to do an all melon diet and then you're like fucking man I'm dying and strung out from detox symptoms because massive addictions and, <laughs> and detox is going through your bloodstream and your limb system and your body energetic shifts <laughs> you're strung out like stress craving and it's like you're ruining your you're kind of like stressing yourself out and ruining your life kind of for a few days or a week or two generally when people force push and strain there's a, there's a backlash like an elastic band <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then you go back to eating more of the old stuff you were eating before <laughs> because it's premature you have to do it integratedly with body, mind, spirit um, psychology um, mental and emotional readiness so diet comes goes go hand in hand with mental and emotional readiness if it goes hand in hand it's what I was saying earlier it's enjoyable I wish I had my tripod, sorry I got to, like sorry if this is a bit shaky, hope it isn't. It's in my mum's house. So if they go hand in hand, it's enjoyable and easy. It's effort effortlessness, basically speaking. Um more it's more like that anyway. Um there's maybe there's other factors if depending on how, what your physical health is like and your physical toxicity. Because the more you detox, the harder it'll be um generally also um psychologically, mentally and emotionally. But overall, they should go hand. They, they can go hand in hand if you're ready and you're taking at a pace that's ready, suitable for you at this stage of your life. So another thing, if you want to increase, here's my recommending recommendation for the ideas of starting a raw food diet. It's everything I said. So it's it's not about starting a raw food diet. It's about eating some more fruits. It's about having more salad with your cooked meals. 
it's about having smaller cooked meals over time um, any transitional amount you want to do I'd recommend the mucusless diet healing system it's also brilliant um, you can check them out on Facebook the mucusless diet healing system forum by Arnold Errett um, I, I suppose I'll put a link below the video just to help yeah I'll put a link below the video and check out all my links below the video my life coaching, my herb shop my books and my playlists I have playlists on all of these topics healing, health, relationships everything um, I'll put a link for the distilled water and Oran um, information I can't recommend that enough watch them stuff um, it could for some people mean it's summer and it's warm and you're happy in life and you feel like eating a lot more raw foods and you feel comfortable doing that for the people it's winter it's cold um, you're not used to eating raw foods when you start to detox a bit cleanse and heal your body temperature goes down making it less fun and a bit more emotionally or mentally challenging so therefore you might wish to take it at a slower rate so it's all about self-awareness reading the, the energy and the needs of the moment self-love See the way I smile in that? Because it's the best thing. Self love. And going, thinking about the long term instead of the short term. Okay, so other things I'd recommend, just to, just adding like a little bit of extra, really, really good information for the video, guys. Okay, other, other complementary factors I'd recommend would be I'd recommend generally to do an enema um, at, around once every, it could be once a day for the, some extremists. And I mean that relatively, not literally. There, I'm not judging them or calling them literally an extremist, but it's extreme relative to the rest of the population to do a daily enema. But I know, like probably loads of people who do do daily enemas, so I'd recommend either doing daily, once a week, twice a week, three times a week, once every two weeks, once twice a month. I I would recommend at the least to do an enema probably once a month, even. I'd recommend much more really, but whatever you feel comfortable with, if you can do it less than that. An enema is very handy, it costs around 20 to 25 dollars or less on Amazon or eBay or whatever. It's very good for cleansing your GI tract. Your GI tract is very important to cleanse and it helps cleanse toxins which we've built up in big unnatural proportions that are stored in our body. I'd recommend getting enough sleep. If you're tired, go back, go, lie down in bed for a while. Close your eyes and get horizontal. I'd recommend getting a distiller and drinking drinking a lot of distilled water, like a litre, two litres, maybe even three litres a day, depending on how many fruits you're having, which is distilled liquid in itself. Don't forget to watch the video I put below by Andrew Norton Weber, and check out the website AquariusTheWaterBearer.com. I'll have those links below. Um, I'd recommend exercising as, as you can, get fit, get yourself beautiful. Look after your physical health, look after your physical looks. It's important to have confidence and to manage all chakras and to have self-esteem. It's important, guys. Physical and spiritual go hand in hand. Uh, it's one thing to get overly inflated about your ego and always obsessive about your looks, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about being happy with yourself, being confident and finding yourself to be pretty or handsome. And sexy. <laughs> Why not? We are sexual beings as well. That's okay. No point in pretending otherwise, guys. So all this is about self-acceptance and self-love and honesty. All this is related to how to change your diet. You wouldn't think that, would you? But it is. And most, most people don't talk about this, but it's important to talk about and to realize if you really... This isn't good information. If you're still watching this, this you're like, this is good. This is like, good information. I'm grateful for all my sources of learning and I'm, I'm glad to pass it on and I'm gonna, I learned from my own personal experiences too, I'm gonna actually um, make more better videos in the future in this channel. I'm gonna make more educational videos. I'm gonna make better content videos. I'm gonna make videos that are more impactful in people's lives and that's what my intention is. So, Thanks for your time and energy and your love and gratitude. Thanks for any comments below expressing these feelings. 
and um, even if you don't comment express the feelings I'm grateful and um, thanks for the love that comes into me and from around the world thanks for everybody's help in the past if I never needed your help with fundraisers it really helped so thank you please share this video or consider sharing at least on your social media multiple social medias Facebook Twitter pages groups really 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 appreciate it put a fair bit of time and effort into making this video editing uploading recording all that type of stuff I'm just trying to be of service and help people out there this is crunch information this really really helped me I used to have an eating kind of disorder or let's call it eating disruption eating disharmony I had a poor relationship for food it took me a few years to heal actually so if I had saw this video before I wouldn't have gotten into that I keep seeming to make really like bad decisions in life <laughs> go through suffering and big amazing experiences come out the other end tough challenges and be equipped with experiences and then help other people after gone through it myself I did pray at an early age teach me the hard things in life guys give it to me give it to me so I can experience the stuff I'm ready <laughs> I have a warrior's attitude and like sometimes they say be careful what you ask for <laughs> but um Yeah, okay, anyway, it's long enough, I suppose, but, um, <laughs> yeah, thanks for sharing, and if you, if you liked the video, please give it a like, and really, really, really appreciate that as well, um, and, um, other than that, I'll talk to you again another time, and subscribe if you're new, of course, and take care, lots of love to you, have a beautiful day, and you're a beautiful soul, and I send you my love, respect, and regards, stay happy, and stay well, and look after yourself, okay? See ya, take care, love, Owen. Oh,